Cool, me too. <laughs> and then who in here has um, some sort of anxiety or any um, negative feelings about math? Okay, so yeah, a few people, not as many as I often hear, but um, I wanted to explain this because I get this a lot from people um, who really, yeah, don't feel good about their own math ability or kind of have anxiety around it. Um, so there's a beautiful essay called A Mathematician's Lament by Paul Lockhart. And Paul Lockhart, um, Paul Lockhart was a math professor at Brown, and he quit to go teach K-12 education because he thought math education was such a disaster in the United States. And so he uh, has this essay where he writes about a world where children are not allowed to sing songs or play instruments until graduate school because it's really important that they have over a decade of studying music notation and tr transcribing notes by hand uh, before we can let them sing. And so it's a, uh, you know, it sounds horrifying, like that doesn't make sense to make people wait till they're, you know, 20 to, to sing. Um, but that's what we do with math education is what he argues. Um, and I agree that we uh, often focus on kind of a dry, uh, disconnected notation and that the really um, more beautiful and creative parts of it don't come until later after many people have dropped out of the field. Um, now this is an essay called The Myth of Innate Ability in Tech by Omoju Miller. Um, and Omoju has her PhD in CS education from Berkeley. And this, uh, I think this myth shows up a lot in mathematics as well. Um, but it's the idea of like, oh, and this idea is completely false um, and the evidence is against it. But the idea that, oh, some people, you know, innately, you know, have a brain for math and some people don't, um, that becomes a self-fulfilling prof uh, prophecy. And I think it's uh, particularly prevalent in the United States, um, the, this idea that some people can, yeah, their brain works that way, other people's don't. Um, and that's not the case, um, but it's a very harmful myth. Um, then it gets, uh, gets worse um, if you're a woman in that um, there was a study, so 90% of elementary school teachers are women in the United States. And um, I apologize, what I'm saying is very US-centric, um, and that that's what I'm kind of most familiar uh, with the research for. But this is something that really varies a lot from culture to culture. Um, and you will see like there's some countries where you know, there are a ton of um, girls on the math Olympiad teams um, at all levels. Uh, but yeah, this is an area where the US is not strong. Um, but so uh, most, most elementary school teachers are women. Um, and of, um, in college, the major with the highest level of math anxiety is elementary education. And then this often gets transmitted to kids kind of subconsciously. Um, and there's a study that found, and this was um, published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, which is very, very prestigious, kind of top journal, that um, girl children pick up on that anxiety and it impacts how they see um, the gender kind of uh, gender ability around math, whereas boy students don't pick up on it from women teachers. So it's kind of harmful to girls, but not to boys. Um, and so this is something that may be impacting people, or definitely is impacting people. Um, and then another, uh, another issue is um, in, in the US, uh, there are a lot of um, stereotypes and myths about the ability of people of color. And so particularly if you're black or Latina or indigenous, um, you may have encountered kind of negative stereotypes or perceptions about your math ability. Um, and I just wanted to share all these of kind of just uh, all the forces that might be kind of conspiring against you loving math as you could and that have nothing to do with um, your actual ability or aptitude. Um, so I, uh, and there, so there was this guy on Twitter that said you, uh, to do machine learning, you have to have loved math as a teenager, which I think is false. Um, and so I responded, many kids are turned off to math because of poor teaching methods, lack of resources, lack of support. Doesn't mean you, can, you can't learn machine learning later. And then all these people responded with really inspiring stories. And so I just wanted to share a few of them. Um, so one is data science Renee who is a data scientist, has a large Twitter following and a data science podcast. Um, and she says that she struggled with certain teachers and with ADHD um, and that she didn't start, uh, she didn't take advanced math until she was over 30 years old and she became a data scientist at 34. Uh, Stephanie said that she didn't love math until age 36 when she returned to school for a biology degree and now she's becoming a data scientist. 
Um, and then my favorite was Kimberly said, I'm learning machine learning as a 50-year-old with straight A's and a PhD program in biomedical informatics um, and health data science. Age is just a number. Um, so I thought that was really inspiring and just, um, yeah, for any of you that do feel a little um, anxious about math, I hope this is inspiring. Oh, and then one more, and uh, this came out just a week or two ago, uh, Kathy O'Neill, uh, oh, Weapons of Math Destruction is very good. Yeah, if you're, I'll mention it a few times. If you're interested in uh, bias and algorithms, um, Kathy has a book called Ma Weapons of Math Destruction. She also blogs at mathbabe.org, and she, um, she has her PhD in math from Harvard, but she wrote this article in Bloomberg that a math, um, mathematician's secret, we're not all geniuses. And she says, um, you don't have to be a genius to become a mathematician. If you find this statement at all surprising, you're an example of what's wrong with the way our society identifies, encourages, and rewards talent. Um, so I definitely agree with that. And then she also says, to even imagine becoming a mathematician, I had to ignore the question of whether I was a genius or whether I would need to be a genius. Had I been poked and prodded and measured to see how exceptional I was, I probably would have lost the nerve. Um, but yeah, so just uh, more confirmation. And I just wanted to kind of put all that out there before I get into uh, 